What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to discuss the new and upcoming interface of uh, Facebook app on Android. As you can see right now I'm uh, running the new Facebook interface on my Nexus 5 app. This interface actually comes on and off on my phone. I don't know for some reason it goes back to the old interface again. When uh, this uh, interface uh, shows up a few days back I thought uh, it pro I probably got it early because uh, I'm uh, enrolled in the beta program but then it went away and uh, it came back today again so I thought I should make a video about uh, this interface and this interface uh, seems uh, pretty in line uh, what I have uh, seen on iOS and that's a flat design that uh, you see most of the modern uh, phone interface and as well as the modern uh, apps. So let's compare it with the current interface on iOS, how similar or different it is compared to the iPhone uh, interface. As you can see, both uh, look uh, pretty similar and pretty familiar. There are a few differences and a uh, few similarities as well. The top bar on the iPhone is status phone and check-in, which is basically the same bar that you see on uh, Nexus 5 at the bottom. Both are actually switched on uh, both uh, apps. One has it on the top, one has it at the bottom. iPhone has the menu bar at the bottom and Nexus 5 has the menu bar at the top. However, both these uh, menu bars function pretty similarly. And uh, let's discuss a few of the similarities and differences that I have seen uh, while using this uh, app. While scrolling up and down, both phones uh, actually hide their uh, status, photo, and check-in bar. The difference is the iPhone has on the top and the Nexus 5 has at the bottom. So that's the difference, but uh, when you scroll, both phones actually hide this bar. And the menu is pretty similar on both phones. All the bells and whistles and all the options are available on uh, both these phones there are uh, the, the location might be different i mean uh, for example the help center is on the top here on iphone 5s whereas it is uh, somewhere in the middle or bottom half you can say on uh, nexus 5 but uh, it works pretty similarly and notifications also work pretty similarly same is the case with the messenger or notifications i mean the messages and the friends uh, window or uh, friends menu also works pretty much similarly. And then you have uh, the, your, your uh, news feed and it also works pretty similarly. The scrolling still uh, works slightly better on uh, iPhone 5S. It's smoother on iPhone 5S. Nexus 5 has uh, some other scrolling advantages like it can scroll more. And also something new is available it's not new, rather some uh, current user also have this option. Actually the Android app will show you the album in a different way than the iOS version shows. Let me explain what I'm talking about here. On uh, iOS, if I click the photo, it will uh, show me uh, one single photo and I can swipe uh, left or right and I can check out the whole album. Whereas on iOS, I can actually click one photo and it will show me in a card card uh, interface the whole album. And I can interact the whole album using that one uh, single window while scrolling up and down. This is a major difference that I have seen uh, on a new Android app. Actually, the current Android app also has this feature and my Note 3 also has this. Similarly, here you can see that uh, this baby photo I can actually swipe left or right on iOS whereas, whereas on Android the album is shows as a card interface and I can interact all three photos uh, within that single window by scrolling up and down. Its uh, functionality is pretty similar on both of them but uh, the presentation is th somewhat different you can say. And the scrolling, I have already mentioned that Nexus 5 has the advantage that it can scroll faster and more. Whereas iPhone 5S has the advantage that the scrolling is somewhat smoother than the Nexus 5. Nexus 5 scrolling is also smooth, but at times it's slightly jerky 
depending on the content on the screen if it's more graphical content obviously it will take uh, time to load so sc scrolling might affect a little bit but most of the time as you can see here it runs pretty well but as it slowed down you can see a little bit of uh, jerks but nothing major here just a uh, few you can say the differences in terms of user experience and you can double tap on the status bar on iPhone in order to scroll faster towards the top. Most of the navigation buttons comes on the top on iPhone 5s as you can see the done button is on the top right corner whereas uh, most of the navigation button on uh, Nexus 5 are at the bottom and it, it up to it's up to you I mean that it's up to the user preference but I prefer to use the bottom navigation buttons. But probably it has something to do with the way the apps are standardized on both platforms. But uh, I think uh, both apps have uh, some unstandard, unstandardized uh, stuff as well because the buttons are all over the place on uh, both apps and no app have, has the standard stuff. And for some strange reason, both platforms, the Android and iOS apps are never equal in terms of functionality oops uh, let me open the Android version again if you press the menu button while you have uh, opened a photo you can see actually you have uh, more options on uh, Android version you can make this uh, photo your profile picture or cover picture and things like that are additional options on Android whereas on iOS you also have uh, an additional option for example if you like to comment on this photo and you press the comment button you can actually upload a photo on uh, your uh, comment whereas on uh, Android there is no upload uh, photo option as you can see on iPhone there is small camera button if I press that one it will give me an option to upload a photo whereas I don't see anything uh, like that on Android version as well I don't know why there is a disparity or differences between the two apps. Both these platforms are matured enough and both these apps should work in a similar way. I don't get it why one version is different from the other. Another thing that I like more about the iOS version is when I'm commenting on a post, actually I can see that original post or photo while I'm commenting on that one. Whereas on uh, the Android version, it covers up uh, the whole screen, I mean the comment screen, the cover, it covers up the original post or the photo, which I don't prefer. It has something to do with the, again, with the implementation style or some, some standardization or I don't know why it's like that. But anyways, there, there is a difference and small annoyance on uh, the Android version. Another thing that I feel is better about the iOS version is the sharing. If you click the share button on both of them, you will see different options. The Android version has uh, directly gone to the right post, whereas on uh, iOS version, you have different options. If, if I click the right post, it will show me the same screen that I have seen on uh, the Android version on the right. But other, other options are also available on iOS version. If I press the share, I can actually share now without writing any post and I can send as message as well and I can just uh, copy the link to the post and send as message is really nice feature that I use uh, on uh, iPhone version of the app because sometimes you want to send uh, some uh, link to the post as a message instead of uh, sharing them publicly on Facebook. Once again, it's uh, totally not understandable that why there is a difference and disparity between the two apps as much as I can and as much as I have found while using both apps in a short period of time. However, there might be some other differences that I haven't noticed yet. And uh, once again, I want to show that uh, on the left, I had my iPhone 5S and on the right, I had my Nexus 5. So guys, in this video, I try to cover the new interface of the Android version of uh, Facebook and uh, I try to compare this version with the current iOS version as well, just uh, 
because I thought it's pretty similar to the iOS version so just want to compare this uh, so that you can uh, have an idea that how it compares with the rival platform as well so i hope uh, that you have liked the video thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more videos take care and i'll see you later bye